Hi, greetings, Will Whovians. Whovian Queen here. Oh, I'm having a good week so far. Want to look at the 11th Doctor Era, and that continues on with The Curse of the Black Spot. So, let's take a look at it. But first, let's look at a prequel here. On April 30th, 2011, immediately following the broadcast of Day of the Moon, the BBC released a prequel to The Curse of the Black Spot. The prequel consists of a short montage of atmospheric shots of the pirate ship, Bridged by a narration in the form of Captain Avery's journal for April the 1st, 1699, The Good Ship Fancy. Avery describes how his ship has been becalmed for eight days, and the crew are being taken one by one by an enemy. He fears that they are all doomed to die there. And now let's take a look at the actual plot, synop plot synopsis. In the 17th century, a pirate ship is stranded in the ocean, terrorized by a siren like creature who marks people with black spots on their palms after they are injured and appears to disintegrate them with their touch after putting them in a trance. Rory receives the cut during a task with the pirates, and finds a black spot on his hand, but is prevented from succumbing to the Song of the Siren by Amy and the Eleventh Doctor. Surmising the Siren is using water as a portal, the Doctor instructs the crew to siege, seek refuge in the ship's dry magazine. There, they find Toby Avery, the son of the ship's captain, Henry Avery, who stood away on the ship in order to join the crew after his mother died unaware of his father's illicit deeds. He too has a black spot on his palm due to a fever. The Doctor and Avery fail to escape in the Doctor's ship, the TARDIS, <coughs> and the Siren takes the TARDIS. Another shipment is taken by the Siren in a dry room. The Doctor realizes the Siren is using reflection to appear, not the water. In response, they rid the ship of reflective surfaces, including the ship's stolen treasure. When a storm begins, the crew start to set sail. Toby drops a polished crown while bringing his father a coat. The siren is summoned and takes Toby. Soon, Rory falls into the ocean, and the siren takes Rory. Believing the victims are not dead, the doctor convinces Avery and Amy to prick themselves to get the siren to take them. The siren's touch actually teleports them to an alien, to an alien spaceship, invisible the same spot the pirate ship is located. The Doctor finds the spaceship's crew long dead from exposure to human disease. The trio discover sick bay where Avery's entire crew, Toby and Rory, are in medical care along with the TARDIS. The Siren turns out to be the ship's virtual doctor, caring for the injured humans. The black spots are tissue samples she uses as references to understand how to help them. Amy convinces the Siren to release Rory into her care. Using Rory's nursing knowledge, even the doctor remove him from life support and are, and are able to resuscitate him. Meanwhile, Avery stays with the son on the ship and flies the spaceship with his crew. Nice. So let's take a look at some continuity here surrounding this episode. The historical pirate Henry Avery was previously mentioned in the 1966 serial The Smugglers, which deals with the search for Avery's gold. The Curse of the Black Spot researched unresolved plot points from the previous two episodes, The Impossible Astronaut and Day and of the Moon. Amy and Rory express concern over the Doctor's future death. The Madame Kovarian appears briefly to Amy, and the Doctor again uses the TARDIS scanner to perform a pregnancy test on Amy, the results of which remain unclear. And now let's take a look at the productions episode, beginning with writing and casting. In January 2011, it was announced that Downton Abbey actor Hugh Bonneville would make a guest appearance as a pirate captain in an episode of the sixth series of Doctor Who. Excuse me. Lead actors Matt Smith and Karen Gillan felt that working with Bonneville was great fun. Bonneville previously played Sir Sidney Herbert and Tsar Nicholas I of Russia in the Seventh Doctor audio drama The Angel of Scutari. Later, in February 2011, it was announced actress and model Lily Cole was cast as a sea creature. The producers were looking for an actress who was beautiful, striking, and yet somewhat spooky. Cole came early into the, ca into the casting suggestions accepted the role when she was approached. The episode was written by Stephen Thompson. The producers wished to develop a Doctor Who episode set on the high seas. The episode was also made to allow the Doctor and his companions to kick it back and have some fun. As the episode was pirate-themed, the producers wanted to fit in as many elements as possible from pirate, pi pirate fiction, including treasure, mutinies, the stowaway boy, walking the plank, storms, swords, and a pirate with a good heart who isn't really evil. The Curse of the Black Spot originally planned to be ninth of the series, but was moved 
forward prior to filming as executive producer Stephen Moffat felt the, felt the first half of the series was too dark. And now finally on to filming and effects. Them took place primarily in Cornwall and the Upper Boat Studios in Wales. The exterior of the pirate ship was filmed at a dock in Cornwall, while the lower decks were built from a set at the studio. The principal challenge to film at the dock was to ensure the audience would not see it. The crew set up smoke machines to simulate fog. To create the storm, the crew used wind and rain, rain machines, the latter of which went through 15,000 liters of water. The loud noise for the wind machines caused communication difficulties during takes. Anticipating they would get soaked, the cast pressed it on the deck wore dry suits underneath their clothes. Before filming began on the, on the storm sequences, Dr. Arthur Jarvis heard that he would perform the stunt where he is thrown into the sea and was willing to perform it. The stunt would later be performed by a double. The scenes in which Cole appeared on the ship were done by using a harness as if she was flying. Because the actors wore green dress and makeup, the normal green screen was replaced by blue screen in the studio. Cole felt it was fun to find the harness, but found it painful after a few hours. Dylan was allowed to perform several of her own stunts in the episode. She was, excited to, she was excited to learn that her character would fight pirates with swords and was taught how to handle one, one with basic moves. Gillum was also allowed to swing across the ship. However, a stunt double was required to film the sequence where Amy is thrown across the deck by the siren. The sick bay set was also built in the studio. Because the beds were attached to strings, they were prone to swaying. The, the cast members who were asked to lie on the beds were instructed to stay still and not breathe heavily to limit movement. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, bro, this is a very fun episode, and yeah, I'm glad that it's in this half of the season. So, it, so you know, the first half would be too dark and stuff. So, yeah. So, overall, I give The Curse of the Black Spot four Sonic Screwdrivers out of five. Until next week, as we take a look at The Doctor's Wife. Well, I hope you enjoyed that review. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it around. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified about when I'm about when I upload videos. And to help support this channel, then be sure to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in the description below. And until next time, this is Toby and Queen saying, "Oh my giddy aunt! When I say run, run, I'm very surprised the new trunk flow. Would you like a jelly baby? Fantastic! Allons-y, Geronimo! Bow ties are cool. Fezzes are cool. And." Stetsons are cool.